Andy Katz here for NCAA Digital and March Madness Men's Basketball with a look at the top 10, this is subjective here, developmental coaches and programs. Let's start at number one. John Calipari of Kentucky. Yes, they get some of the best players in the country, but they get better, and he loads up those NBA draft boards. Number two, Bill Self of Kansas. The Jayhawks don't always get the one and dones, and yet consistently, their Big 12 Player of the Year candidates are guys that have developed over the couple of years. Number three, Tom Izzo, Michigan State. The Spartans are getting better throughout the course of a season. That has happened consistently in East Lansing, and so that means the players are getting better. Number four, Mark Few of Gonzaga. Okay, so he's had a couple of one-and-dones in a row, but yet he's still getting draft picks of players who have been there two, three, four seasons. Development. Number five, Kelvin Sampson of Houston. The Cougars consistently now are a deep threat in the NCAA tournament with players who can be on those NBA draft boards who get better throughout the course of the season and their careers in Houston. Number six, Matt Painter of Purdue, especially the bigs. The bigs stay and they become all Big Ten and potentially all American players. Number seven, Scott Drew of Baylor. The Baylor Bears don't normally get one and done types, all Americans, and yet through defense, through rebounding, Scott Drew's players become NBA players. All right, number eight, Dana Altman of Oregon. The Ducks consistently are better later in the season. And what does that mean? That means the players have improved. Number nine, Fran McCaffrey of Iowa. Luca Garza and Keegan Murray. That's it. That's all you got to know. And number 10, Tony Bennett of Virginia. Yes, a system, but... Cavs consistently produce players that improve over the course of their careers at Virginia. There's plenty of other names I could have thrown in there. That's my top 10.